Speak your soul. Speak your soul. Just let it go. Let it go. Let it go. Speak your soul. Speak your soul. Your soul. Let it flow. Let it flow. Let it flow. Let it flow. Welcome to Speak Your Soul Sessions number three. This is Slept On Shay. Thank you for coming to the channel. So today's Speak Your Soul uh, session is about self-love. Uh, actually, this is a topic I'm so excited that came in from someone who is actually watching the channel Woo! just excited uh, to hear your ideas because after all even though I'm sharing my opinion on different things like eventually I want so strong of a following that just everything <laughs> is about y'all but the first couple of episodes I have to think of some uh, ideas that I produce right but anyway so self-love is very important We've heard this so many times before that if you don't love yourself, you can't love anybody else. And that is so true. If you're always drained and angry and you're not doing the things that fulfill you and make you happy, you're not going to be any good to anybody else. And we have to make a distinction. Self-love is not selfishness. self Love is being present and understanding when you have to take care of yourself and do the things you need to do for yourself so that you can be uh, that much better for other people. And we don't even have to talk about other people, right? We could just talk about anything. If you're drained, angry, sad, hurt, upset all the time, you're not going to give your all to your projects, to your job. Um, you may even choose not to work out that day because you are not um, doing the things that you need to do to be your best self, whether that be maybe getting the proper rest, drinking your water, uh, picking, uh, you know, one thing or one activity that you love doing every day that just brings you joy. Um, so how do you love yourself, right? That comes to be the question because unfortunately, um, We've seen a lot of celebrities in the past year or so who are no longer with us because they were dealing with depression or different things and maybe the pain was just too much to bear. So self-love seems like such a heavy concept. Like how do you love yourself? Um, it starts with the little things, doing the little things that make you happy and just being happy to be here on this earth because you're happy, right? Not because you're seeking validation from other people or not because you want to make somebody so proud or you're thinking about your relationship, your connections. No, self-love, well, of course, it starts with self. So it starts with asking yourself what makes me happy what makes me smile what things are joyous to me it could be little things like for example if we're getting personal here <laughs> not too personal but we're getting personal I love the smell of coffee in the morning that is one thing that makes me just happy to be alive um and when I'm taking a shower I love uh, my little different scrubs and products that smell really good and all fruity and things like it's amazing, right? So people think of it as this grand undertaking, but literally enjoying the little things, the little things really matter. Playing your favorite song can bring you joy. Um, we live in a very capitalistic society where people believe that we have to be doing something every 35 seconds of the moment you can go ahead and take that nap go ahead and recenter refocus go ahead and spend one day or 
a couple of days or however long where you're not running around um, like a, a chicken with its neck cut off, you know? Just breathe. Inhaling and exhaling. Or it could be the bigger things, like going on vacations and spending time with friends and family, whatever it is. But self-love is doing the things that make you happy in the most unapologetic fashion. Self-love is looking in the mirror like, ooh, your skin looks good. Self-love looks like positive affirmations. Self-love is the little things and it's the big things. It's just finding the things that make you happy to be alive each day. Self-love looks like I'm going to go out and try this amazing meal at this restaurant. Self-love looks like I'm going to pay somebody to do my makeup today because I want to feel great and fabulous. Um, Self-love looks like I'm going to work out today and do some nice cardio um, because I want my heart to beat properly and I want to live for a long time. Um, Self-love looks like watching your favorite Netflix show or binge watching it. So essentially, it's not as complicated as a lot of people may seem. It's not arrogant. It's not narcissistic. It's just doing those things each day, each week, each month, your entire life that are going to just fuel you make and make you feel fulfilled. It's being confident. It's um, having grace, you know. So that, in my humble opinion, is what self-love looks like. Just finding the reasons that you love yourself and to like you're happy to be alive outside of the validation of others. So, one more thing I want to cover. Let's talk about it. Um, it's a hard topic to discuss, so I'll try to do it gingerly and with affection and uh, integrity, but. When a person is depressed and or going through mental health issues and people are like, you know, you know the result of that sometimes, right? Don't want to get demonetized or anything, so can't really say the word, but we know what I'm talking about here, right? So when people are no longer with us, because of that reason, the first default is, why would they do that? This person had family, children, friends, people that loved them. And that's the problem, actually. Because a lot of times, people, when they're in that state, they don't believe that people love them or even need them. They think that the world would be a much better place without them here. And that's why I will stress it a hundred times over that you have to figure out what makes you happy on this earth, what makes you excited to be here, to be alive, to be a human outside of, I have all of these connections or these obligations to my friends and my family or to my spouse or whoever. Like I said, it's that smell of coffee if you're not a coffee lover it's the sound of the the waves on the beach it's how your skin feels when sunshine hits it it's that moment where you realize i ain't gotta work today (laughs) those little things just finding all of the reasons to love yourself to love being alive that it's it's just not about friends or family or that type of validation. I have to be here because of them. No, you should be here because you love being here. And maybe you would miss out on doing all of those things that make you happy. So self-love is just finding a reason to love and celebrate yourself each and every day. That one thing that has nothing to do with anybody else or those few things or those millions of things that uh, 
just make you smile just because. All right, so I'll go ahead and leave it off on that. But thank you so much for listening. And as always, please remember to subscribe, like this channel, share it. There is a Facebook and Instagram page of the same name, Speak Your Soul Session. So yeah, just thank you and just let me know what you thought about this topic of self-love.